watching me. I'm Miss Lisa, and we are here today at the Fayette County Public Library. I have got an awesome craft for you, one that actually moves and works that you can actually play with. Um, how many of you have ever seen a dump truck actually dump its load? It's really pretty cool. So today we have this dump truck that we're going to make, and it moves. The bucket part of it moves, and as it lifts up, you can slide the dirt right on out and make a big pile. So we are going to make this awesome movable craft today. Um, and it's going to be, it's just a dump truck, but it's, it's really pretty cool. So in your packet, you are simply going to have this template. Um, and it's going to have the mounds of dirt and trash. Okay, it's going to have this special bar. Don't cut this. Don't lose this. This is be very important if you want to be able to actually dump your dirt out of the dump truck. Okay, then you're going to have your dump truck body and and the bed part of the dump truck. So you're going to need your markers today or your crayons or your colored pencils, whatever you have. I would suggest that you um, use the dirt and just color it brown. If you want to add in, you know, little pieces of trash, if you're very artistic and you can draw other little things in there, that's more than I could do. So I would love to see your little dump trucks. If you um, can draw them, put a picture in the comment section. That would be awesome. I would love to see your dump trucks. All right, so I've colored in my mounds of dirt and trash and I've just colored them brown and if you watch what I did I made big long strokes that makes the final product look a lot nicer. I am just going to draw some little circles and bubbles inside the brown with a black marker so that it sort of looks bumpy like a load of trash might be. That just gives it a little bit of a texture look to it. Just draw some little circles. Okay. Now, most tr dump truck beds are orange or yellow. So I'm just going to take my, actually, this is a fluorescent yellow. Isn't that pretty? So we're just going to make the big long strokes and color over the dump truck, um, the part that holds all the trash. There we go. And whatever color you want to color it, go for it. It just doesn't matter. We can make some very imaginative color dump trucks. The wheels should be black. So I'm just going to take some black. Actually, I think I'll use the bigger marker here and just circle around and color in the black wheels. Now, if you have an interest in learning about what dump trucks do in your city, they're a good community helper. Can you imagine what it would be like if we didn't have dump trucks and trash collectors? What our city would look like? It would be awful, but we have several stories at the library that mention dump trucks and tell you about dump trucks. So come and grab a packet and um, read about dump trucks as well. All right, so there's two out of the wheels. We've got one more wheel up here, um, making our nice solid black wheels just by going around and around and around until they're all colored in. All right. I'm not sure what this little part of the truck is. I'm just going to go ahead and color it gray. Might be, well, it's not the step up into the cab, so I'm not sure. Now your cab, you want to leave the window open, um, if, unless you want to color it, you could do that. But I'm going to color my cab blue. I, the original one I did was red. I sort of thought about doing purple because that's my favorite, but I don't know that we've ever seen a purple dump truck. But I'm not sure that there's blue ones out there either. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure. But this will be a pretty dump truck. All right, so once you have finished with the coloring, you will need to get some scissors. If you are not good at handling scissors, make sure that you have an adult help you. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out that dirt. Okay, I'm just go right along that straight edge there. And then I'm going to come up here and squiggle the mound of dirt. The little one is the one that fits inside your bed of the dump truck. 
the big pile of dirt is what's already on the ground where the dump trucks dump their trash. All right, make sure that you take your trash and um, throw that away. This rectangle you want to keep, so do not throw this rectangle. That one's important. I'll show you what that needs to be in just a minute. Um, in fact, I need some tape. If somebody could bring me some tape, that would be awesome. But I forgot to get the tape out. Tape is what you are going to need to put that special little triangle in the back of your dump truck. All right, thank you so much. All right, so we're cutting out the bed part. Now you are going to want to cut out this flat area separately from the main part of the dump truck because that way we can put the, the little brad in and make it movable. All right, so we have this flat bed. Move the trash out of the way. And now we have the area of the dump truck that is filled with stinky old trash. All right. And we are so glad for our trash collectors because like I said before, can you imagine what our world would be like if somebody didn't take that away? All right. So here we have all of our pieces. Now I have my tape. And what we're going to do is you're going to take the, the, the dumping part of the truck and turn it over, take your little rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over so I can't see my black lines. And then you're just going to take some tape and tape just the bottom. Oops, it's crooked. I can't have that be crooked. Sorry, guys. Let me make that straight. Try to leave it nice and straight. Um, you see where I am putting it? If you think about the, the dirt, See now, oh, actually, it's mine's too low because you want that dirt to show. So let me let me let me reorganize this here. You're going to want it sort of near the top, but not sticking out. So let's get that more up here toward the top and tape the rest of that down. All right. And you're going to want to tape the one corner of it that's nearest the handle here so that it doesn't fall out. So now when we lay that in there, it's sticking up. See how that works? If you had taped it way down here at the bottom, when you stick your dirt in there, it's not going to show. So tape it up near the top so that when you lay it in there, it shows. Now we need to get our hole punch. We're going to put a hole punch, a little hole, right here above the last wheel. And we're going to put the little hole right here as well in this corner. And then we're going to take our little paper fastener and attach these two together. Turn it over and press the brad down. Open up the little paper fastener part. There we go. All right. Now my dump truck is made. And we can put um, our dirt that we colored in the dump truck. We can lift the bed of the dump truck up and out slides because we didn't tape the one corner, remember, it will slide right on out. Isn't that awesome, boys and girls? <laughs> All right, who knew that making a dump truck could be so much fun? All right, so this is our craft this week. We have this movable, workable dump truck for you to make. Come on down and get a packet with the template and the, and the paper fastener in it. And like I said before, I really want to see your dump trucks. I want to see how cool they are. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching me. I'm Miss Lisa, and we are here at the Fayette County Public Library, and you have been watching The Crafty Corner. Bye, guys. Oh.